in this question we're told that we have uh, 25 grams of uh, gold uh, of uh, silver of aluminium of uh, water so the mass is 25 grams and uh, we are told that the initial temperature ti is 27 degrees celsius and uh, we are looking for the final temperature and we are told that they absorb uh, 2.35 kilojoules of heat so 2.35 kilojoules is the amount of heat absorbed and that is q and it's going to be positive because it is absorbed so we have to uh, think about an equation that connects all these parameters together to be able to solve this question. And the equation is Q is equals to MCS delta T, right? Where delta T is the T final minus T initial. So uh, our Q here is uh, 2.35 kilojoules is equals to the mass is 25 grams but uh, we need to convert this kilojoules to joules because um, we will have the specific heat capacity in joules so to convert kilojoules to joules we just multiply by 10 raised to power 3 that will make it to be in joule the mass is 25 grams 25 grams multiply by um, so now we can choose so let's start with gold okay we are dealing with gold in this case so the cs of gold the specific capacity of gold is um let's see 0 0.129 0 0.129 joules per gram per degree celsius so this is multiplied by 0 0.129 joules per gram degree Celsius multiplied by change in temperature, which will be T final. And that is what we're looking for minus the T initial is 27 degrees Celsius. So T final then will be equals to 2.35 times times by three divided by 25 divided by 0.129 so this will be 728.68 plus 27 all in degrees celsius and this will give us 755.6 degrees Celsius. So then we can go ahead and do the calculation for silver. So for silver, the CS, which is a specific heat capacity, is um, 0 0.24, 0 0.24. Joules per gram per degree Celsius. So we'll just write this equation and substitute this with this. So this would be 2.35 times 10 to the power 3 joules is equals to 25 grams multiplied by 0 0.240 joules gram degree Celsius multiplied by T half minus 27 degrees Celsius. So the final temperature of Tf in this case would be 418.67 degrees Celsius. Then we can go ahead and do the one for aluminium. 
The specific heat capacity of aluminium is 0.900 kilogram degrees Celsius. So this will be 2.35 times 10 to the power 3 is equals to um, the mass is 25 grams multiplied by 0.900 kilogram degrees Celsius multiplied by T final minus. The T initial is 27 degrees Celsius. So this will be 2.35 times 10 to the power 3. Times 25, 5.9 plus 27. So the T final in this case for aluminium will be 131.44 degrees Celsius. And uh, the last one, which is water, the specific heat capacity of water is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. So this is 3.35 times 10 to the power 3 joules is equal to 25 grams multiplied by 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius multiplied by the final temperature minus 27 degrees Celsius and therefore the final temperature in this case should be 49.466.47 degrees Celsius and that is it